working on a new agency dashboard that allows people that are working with, you know, that are marketing agencies or a lot of our clients actually, to be honest with you, are EXP agents who have a downline. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we're gonna be we're gonna be showing that next week uh, in our in our next meeting. We're pretty excited about it. Um, we're gonna have two versions of it. One is one version is gonna be a free version, and uh, you know we we think it's gonna be pretty cool. And then we're gonna have um, a paid version of it that has some additional features and stuff that people have asked for. That one's gonna be um, the paid one's gonna be like 199 bucks a month for unlimited um, clients on there. And, um, you know, we think that's going to be pretty powerful, but the, the free one's also going to have some pretty cool features. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. We've kind of wanted to sneak it today, but but we've still got a little testing to do. So we're going to wait for another week to, to show that one. Okay. So today we are going to share updates and all of them are going to be related to IDX Broker. And... You can find these things in idxarons.com. And we are going to cover uh, three things. The first one is related to the custom fields. If you don't know, we have added like 80 custom fields for the high level integration. And we received like, uh, we received feedback from, from clients like saying, oh my God, there are so many custom fields and I don't know how to sort them. So we added this option in the IDX to lead connector app uh, where we are grouping them um, depending on what they're, they are meant to. For example, we have these, uh, the essential ones that are going to have uh, the lead ID or the ones related to the last view property, last save property, save it searches, contact forms, and so on. So, uh, we have been adding many custom fields uh, during the past month. And in case you don't have one of these custom fields added, it's going to show this red uh, warning icon. And if you have already added it, it's going to show this green check mark. So this new feature is going to allow you to select what group of custom fields you want to add to high level, or in case if you don't want to add all the group, you can select them uh, one by one. You only need to click on select fields and it's going to display these checkboxes. And then you are going to click on the ones that you want to add and then click on this add button. And in, in case you, want, you don't want to have them, uh, you can also delete them. So this is a good feature in case you want to start like testing how they work or if you don't want all of them, you can only add them individually or by group of custom fields. And we have also added, uh, in case you want to add, uh, or in case you are adding the lead connector dashboard for the first time, we are adding this uh, step where you are going to select uh, the custom fields. Well, we are, we are adding a default set of custom fields, but you can disable them if you don't want them. And these are the ones that are going to be created by default. For example, the ones related to the contact forms or the workflows are not going to be added in this first integration. And I want to show you an example of how the app looks. For example, in this, uh, this is our demo account. And I can see here that I have added all these uh, custom fields. But in case you have already added all of them and you want to sort them in high level in folders, you only need to click here on group and clean up and we are going to organize them in high level and they are going to look something uh, like this, for example. This is, these are related to the last view property or the IDX last saved search. Mm -hmm. And well, this is related to the custom fields. I don't know if you have any questions related to the custom fields. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, ah, go on, Noel. 
I guess I just have to figure out. So how do we how do we add the ones that we're missing? For example, it's going to show something. Um, can you share that URL with us, uh, Maida, so that we can click that? Yes, I'm going to add it here on the chat. But let's say that I don't have these extra ones. I'm going to delete them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to refresh the page only to see. And for example, here I can see that, uh, well, first it's displaying that I have zero of these two custom fields. Mm -hmm. And these are showing in red. So in case I want to add these custom fields again, I would only need to click here on select fields. I can add them manually one by one or I can select all of them. And I need to click here on add. And it says custom fields updated successfully. And that's it. That's all you need to do to add these um, custom fields to higher level in case you don't have this in your sub account. Okay, cool. And so if you hit the group and clean up, it'll go back and organize it all? Uh-huh. We had um, in the past, I mean, last week, <laughs> we had, uh, if you click on this and if you added all, it was going to add all the custom fields in a folder called additional info. This one. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. So if you have all of the custom fields here, you only need to click here on group and group and clean up and it's going to try like to sort them on these different folders in case you have added them to another folder that it's not the additional info uh, it might not work as expected because we can handle all the different folders that you already have if this makes sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay James, do you have any question? No, I think that looks great. Thank you, Maida. Okay. And um, well, this is the update that we have related to the custom fields. I hope, or we hope it's useful uh, in case you want to add more uh, custom fields to your integration. Um, now we're going to talk about mailbox power because we added, well, this app is already was added before uh, to IDX Arons, but we want to show you what does it do. Uh, in case you want to know more about it, you can go to this link. But the idea is that you can send uh, gifts or cards to your clients uh, and you can schedule this. Uh, uh, well, this <laughs> and we have an app in IDX add-ons where you only need to enter your Mailbox Power API key. You can have, uh, you can sort the, your contacts by groups and they will look something, it will look something like this for now. So let's say that you want to add uh, specific leads to Mailbox Power, you only need to select them, click on this button that says send to Mailbox and they are going to be added uh, to Mailbox Power so you can start sending uh, gifts to your contacts. And let me see. Um, can I interrupt? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Have you um, planned on using this in conjunction with the leads that come through Plunk? Long. No, not yet, but it's a good idea. I mean, we're going to work on a pro version that I have in my next slide. Because um, this is why I say I say this. Mm -hmm. I don't have Mailbox Power. It's on my it's on my wish list. It has a connection with um, Go High Level, and in Mailbox Power, it has automations for, um, I think, expires and FISBOs. 
And so the people with Plunk, you may be able to, can, that have asked for a home valuation, we may be able to put them into some kind of automatic sending of postcards um, since they've asked for the value of the home. Okay, that I think that's a good idea. I don't know what do you think, James, but we're going to add a pro version that is going to uh, have this automation to send the new IDX leads that are added to to go high level. We're going to, I mean, we're going to add this automation in a pro version, but we could also add this as a new feature on in this pro version to also get the the new like leads that we are getting from the Plunk app. Mm -hmm. Will they, will you guys be setting it up so that they can come over with some kind of tag? Because um, Mailbox Power has the ability to make like first time home buyer workbooks and FISBO workbooks. And so according to that tag, we can send off uh, those workbooks um, to those people to those people. Okay, we can take a look at that. I mean, this is only like the first version that's already here. For example, in IDX, I know, but I'm like excited, and I can see the um, the possibilities. Mm -hmm. No, these are good ideas. <laughs> this is the current version that we have, and I mean, it's the free one. For now, you can only send the leads manually. You only need like to select them and click on send to mailbox, and they are going to be added uh, here. But uh, I mean, we're, we're going to work on a pro feature and we can have as many features as, I mean, I think the possibilities are a lot. I don't know, what do you think, James, or? I, I agree with you, Maida. I think I think Noel gave us some great ideas there, and I think we can add some of those into the next version. We just what we try to do is get these um, out, Noel, where they're what we call an MVP, a minimal viable product, or something to start with, and let people start knocking around with it a little bit, and then we'll um, we'll be adding more and more features. We work pretty closely with these guys at Mailbox Power. They actually came down and shared a booth with us and at the NAR conference in uh, Anaheim uh, last fall. And uh, so so we want to build something that's pretty great, that works great with their tool. But this is the first uh, iteration of it. The other, you'll see more of this over the coming, you know, few months that you'll see that there'll be some upgrades on that. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's like awesome. Yeah, those are all great ideas. We appreciate you sharing those with us. Because honestly, it's um, like like we send out FISBO workbooks and stuff and, and um, how to buy, how to sell. And if I just had to VA turn around and take that template, put it into Mailbox Power, and then with one click, I'm sending it instead of here printing it and mailing myself or driving or driving it over by myself. Um, it puts a lot of time back into my day. Oh no, it's it's a huge time saver. We think they have a they have a really compelling product. I mean, so we we're going to be adding more and more features to that. So I, you'll I think you'll see more. But those were those were good ideas to hook it up to Plunk. I, we haven't done that yet, but we can do that pretty pretty quickly. And it um it adds um it, it adds value to the services that I'm that I that I provide. Sure. Good. Thank you, Maida. That looks good. And well, the third thing that I want to talk to you about, and this is like revisiting this theme, it's related to the one click websites. Um, I just wanted to let you know that with this option, if you don't have already a, a website and you want to have IDX broker, IDX broker, uh, we have this option where you can build a website in minutes. Uh, we are including it uh, with an IDX Connect where you need to do a one-time payment. And in, on this link, you can get more information about this. But the idea is that you can have a website set up uh, very easily and in, 
in one day at most we, we can deliver it to you. And you need an ID Explorer account for this. Uh, we have three templates that we're currently offering. One is Astrak and Kun and Pix. And let me show you quickly how they look. I have, uh, well, this is a page where you can get more information and you can have here the, you can see here the links to preview the templates. And here's more information about and some frequent, frequently asked questions. For example, this is the PIX template. This is how it looks. And it's uh, really cool because it already has uh, some information refilled that you can customize later related to the buying and selling process. This is the Astra theme. Uh, it looks like this. It has more of a dark theme. And here are some of the widgets that we are uh, adding to it. We create uh, some community pages and these are the IDX pages linked, uh, for example, to this IDX account. And finally, this is the Cancun template. It has like a more clean, or minimalist design because it doesn't have all of the links as the Astra uh, template and it looks something like this. I mean, this is like how we deliver the template, but in the end you can customize it as you want. You can change the widgets or change the colors or add more text, a high level form. But this is ideal if you want to have a website in high level and you want something like really quick. And well, I was telling you that this, uh, we offer a service or where you, when you buy this template, we offer an IDX connect. And these are all the things that we are including on it. You're going to have a search tool added. And we're going to match the website header and footer. We optimize the IDX worker settings, and we apply uh, some of our IDX templates. These are for the map, details, results templates in IDX broker. We also have the CL links app, a plum home valuation widget, uh, some colors, and the Google map widget. And we also uh, add other widgets to it in case you want to use something else. But this is uh, great because you have uh, a website like this and in case for example you don't want to show this widget you can change it and use something else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think that that's all for this uh, webinar i don't know if you have any questions or comments Hey, Maida, just one thing real quickly. We're going to we're gonna be releasing, we just started working on a new uh, template, a new theme for the one-click websites. We call it Luxury Group. And it's it's going to be, uh, it should be ready, I think, probably in a, in a few weeks, maybe, a, you know. And uh, it's, it's going to be pretty beautiful. It's going to have a little bit different pricing. We're not sure what that is. These sites uh, that, that Maida is showing, these are the sites that you can spin up for 199 bucks. It adds a bunch of custom uh, values into your high level account and you host these on your own high level account. So th these are not hosted with us. So these are hosted on your high level. So you can go in there with a high level page builder and uh, and modify these. And the, the $199, uh, the $199 setup also includes what we our IDX Connect service. Um, so we've had a lot of folks that have been pretty happy with these because they spin up in just um, you know a couple minutes and and it gives them a site they can start using. So we we're pretty excited about these one click websites. We're going to be doing maybe on our next webinar we can do a live demo and show you how it works live. I know Maida hates doing these things live. I'm kind of nervous about it, but when you do it live, you tend to break stuff and things don't go like you would expect. But sometimes if ever, all the stars align and, and everything works out great, it's it's pretty impressive. And these these are these are pretty cool. 
So um, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be adding some more features and uh, we're, we're pretty excited about those. Does anybody have any other questions for Maida about anything that she uh, presented today? Thank you so much, Maida. You did a great job. Maybe we can just put a little, uh, some applause there for, for Maida. Okay, Harvey Holmes. So Harvey, if you get with Sonia, Diana, or Alma, they may be able to work some sort of a deal uh, for you unless you already have a site set up now. But uh, yeah, that, that includes the IDX Connect service. So the difference is only 120 bucks for the site. And then I mean, you have that, now you'll have that template on your, on your website. And, uh, you know, if you, if you use it for other people, you know, that's, that's up to you. Um, we even have some folks that have made their own designs and they're giving them to us. They want us to set up their design so that their design is a one click and, uh, and then they can give that to their clients. So we, we think that those one clicks are going to be something that as they get a little momentum, they're going to be pretty, pretty fantastic. So we've been working on those for the last few weeks. A new feature we talked about last week called dynamic safe searches. And what it is, we're, we're just at the very beginning of testing phase. So if you use this, this is a test where this is actually something that we're going to charge nine bucks a month for per IDX account. But we're going to do a test. People can test it from now till the end of May for free. And this is what it looks like. Turn it on or off. It's pretty simple. It turns it on or off for all your clients on your account. And what it does is as your, it'll make a safe search for your client. So let me give you the example I used last week. You have a client that comes in, they're looking for homes in Dallas, Texas. So the first day they look at homes for, in Dallas, Texas, between 400 and $500,000. This creates a dynamic safe search for them. The next day, if they say, you know what, maybe we actually don't want to live in Dallas, but we want to live in Plano, which is right outside of Dallas. And they just start looking at properties in Plano. This is going to see, our software is going to see that they are, they've moved their search and it's going to update this dynamic search form. And so now, instead of sending them out properties in Dallas, which they've moved on, they're not looking at properties in Dallas, it's going to start sending them properties in Plano. And so then tomorrow, if in Plano, they start narrowing their price range down to 400 to 450, you know, they got approved for a loan and they got to, you know, hit a certain price point. Um, this is going to narrow their search criteria. If they start looking for homes with four bedrooms instead of five, but it's going to narrow all their search. We're going to, we use chat GPT to look at the properties that they're looking at and try to create a search that they get every day based on what they're looking at. Well, the use case for that is back in the olden days, somebody like Noel is a real estate agent in Dallas. And I show up and say, hey, Noel, my wife and I are looking to buy a home in Dallas. We want to spend somewhere between 400 and 500. Noel creates a safe search for us. Homes in Dallas, Texas, between 400 and 500. And we get that every day. Well, then my wife and I start looking at homes in Plano. And Noel's sending us all these stupid homes in Dallas that we're not interested in anymore. And we kind of, after about a week or so, we start seeing Noel's correspondence as a little bit like spam. You know, Noel still sent us those dang homes in Dallas. We've moved on. And so we think that what's going to happen with this is you're going to be able to give your clients a much better search experience. You're going to send them better property updates. And we think this is going to be something that, that allows you to use high level to compete now with, with some of these big CRMs like Lofty and Chime and KV Core and... Um, some of these other big players that have this, this type of functionality. So we just turned it on. It's, it's free for everybody to use between now and the end of May. And at the end of May, you know, if you're still using it, we'll hit you up probably. If you have an account, an IDX broker account, uh, we're going to ask you if, you know, if you pay us nine bucks a month to use the app, that allows us to have money so that, 
you know, Maida can have shoes, I can have food to eat and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, we think it's going to be something that's going to really take us to the next level. And uh, if, if that's something you're interested in, there's a link in the chat. Just hit it and test it out. See what you look, what it looks like for you. And, you know, I, I will probably wouldn't test it on your biggest client, you know, Noel, that they're looking for those $2 million homes and they want a special search criteria. You, you probably need to just update those guys every day out of your own, you know, personal time. But if you have folks that, you know, they're just looking at properties and you've kind of put them on the back burner a little bit, this is a great way for them to get better uh, property updates. So that's a new tool. Cool. Ray, thanks for joining us. Is there anything? I think we're about done with our show today. Is there anything else that maybe you have that questions, comments, suggestions? You're muted. The only question I have is uh, where is this? Where's the link for this? In the chat. It says, um, oh, it says IDX add-ons, apps, dynamic, save, search. And I'll, I'll repaste it right there. Okay. That, that's at the bottom. Okay. Got yep. it. Yep. And when you look at it, it's an on-off button. That that turns yeah, it on. I saw, off. I saw that, yeah. So it's, 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 we'll be adding some more features to that. We have some things that we're working on, but this is our first iteration and we you know, we'd love to have some folks test it. Okay, great. Thank you. Cool. All right. Well, that's all we have for you today. And uh, if you, we, we appreciate you joining us, we're working on more software. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming down the pipeline. I'm really excited next week to show you guys some of the things that we've been working on next week.